All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for free. We're in episode 28. All right, season finale. finale. Yeah. Yeah. Fern, what spell are you going to pick? <laughs> yeah. And, and how are you going to piss everybody off by passing and by what spell you pick? I am I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about the fact that because the third test was done so quickly, we can have a full episode at the end of the season to just like have shenanigans, have the characters interact, do whatever we want. Cause we'll set up the next stage of the journey. Yeah. We, we're headed north. We're, mm -hmm. we're going north. Yep. And I, I love the idea that like Fern's gonna get this like seal or badge or some kind of you know shit Golden like that. Golden star, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then it's gonna be like on her like purple you know thing here mm -hmm. and then she's just gonna walk around all like, hmm, yes, I need Oh yeah, yeah. Things. And Absolutely. then Stark's just gonna be like, damn, like last time I seen you this smug was when like, you know, uh, no, I've never seen you. I've this never smug. seen you this smug, and it worries me. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But yes, having the trio back together, Don't having miss. everyone be set off on a journey. Mm -hmm. I want to see personally. I want to see some of the other characters pass because of Fern. I want to see Zeria change her mind, oh. maybe just the slightest little bit. I want to see. I want to see at least one person pass. Can you imagine how infuriating that would be if you're one of the earlier? people mm -hmm. that goes in and it's just like fail as soon as I look at you and then somebody else goes in and it's like you know what they changed my mind I'm gonna start passing some people it's like wait <laughs> just re-interview re me <laughs> like okay, come on no 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 what's done and then, done and then I say all this but then like you know in the first 30 seconds it's gonna be like fa -fa 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 and yeah. then you know she just puts on her glasses and explosions go on the back basically and I am finger gunning into the I am, sky, like, I am <laughs> fully <laughs> expecting that to be what happens <laughs> finger guns and explosions included yes all right but y'all without further ado let's get into this <laughs> yeah <laughs> as free and yawns ah Yes, okay. I mean, if we're showing them in detail, maybe some of them will get passed. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. But look at you now, huh? Unfit even to be cinders. Oh. Oh, habit. Yep. Nice. Stop that. Oh, shit. She's going to pass them all. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Turn that shit off. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Whoa! Whoa! Nice. So he's not an automatic easy. Dang. Dang. That's how she feels about spells and magic. That's... Okay. I guess when you have them all. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. All right. Yeah, that's why you wanted to do a more peaceful one. You realized that actually pretty much everybody had like a decent shot. Hmm. <laughs> pet, pet, pet. True. In, in many ways. Yeah. Yeah. Acknowledgement. Okay. What, she's gonna eat? Yeah, forget the spell. She's just like... Mm -hmm. If she can't decide between cookies and... Pretzels. And, and pretzels, like, like... There's no hope. Yep. Oh. Back off, bitch. Friends. All of them. All right. Oh, he's just loaded. That's it. Mm -hmm. He's 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 the mage among them that's rich. Like, I mean, he's been a mage for a long time. That well, that he's also sense. the imperial mage. Whatever, whatever that. You right. Know, <laughs> having a little tea party and he's like what what is this yeah. Yeah. oh <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> わしは魔法使いとしてこの町に来た。でも無関係な俺までご馳走してもらうのは。どうせ金の使い道などの。ああ。入ってことはないでしょう。そうです。お孫さんとか。わしには子も孫もおらん。ああ、that's sad. That's
Right. It's yeah, those little things that make yeah. people so happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's not about the great epic battles and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. Right. He saw the piece mm -hmm. made by the hero. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Cool. なにが言いたいの俺をここまで連れてきたのは勇者ヒンベルのくだらない冒険さんだうんいやおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
<laughs> oh, now you do. <laughs> yeah. This is how we say hello. Yeah. This is how she rubbed her the wrong way. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, just going around dropping barriers I mean, on trees and shit. She was a human. Ah, uh, okay. He was the golem maker. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn, Freerun's grown so much. Just over, like, this season. There. Yeah, yeah, no big deal. All right, now we're saying goodbye. Ah, oh, he's been making friends with everybody. Yeah. Yeah, these are all the people that are sad to see him cool. go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this fucking guy. Right. I, I love. Yes, Sensei. Yes. All right, I will return yes. to you someday. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone except you. No, she said everyone. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Oh, come on, come on. She didn't take one, did she? Oh, nope. What? Yes! Cleanliness! Oh my gosh. Wow. A laundry spell. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. I was so close with soap. <laughs> uh, yes, truly for your end. Yes. Well done. And she's just glowing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. That's, Are you that's insane? a Freerun derp face. <laughs> Serves her right. God, that 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 is perfect. Oh, are they going to ask to go with him? Sure, just thank for the first test, yeah. And we live to be able to, thanks to you. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. らしくないとは思うな。色々とはいえ、<笑><笑> Yeah, let's see. Right. It. Right. Just temporary. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of people that you'll see again and again. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's nice. the there's, there's the, the episode, episode title. title. Nice. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. Mata atta toki hazukashii kara ne. Right. Ah. Nandesu Okay. Sweet. Sweet. That's sweet. All right. That's okay. the end of the season. That's the end of the season. Uh, Fern got a laundry spell. Which is yes. perfect. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. It, I was so close with soap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It took, it took it a step further. Took it a step further. We're getting so specific. It's specifically to make clothes clean and spotless. And have a slight floral scent. And a slight floral scent. So that that way you're truly not missing anything from using soap. Right. Yeah. Right. It's mm -hmm. actually the... the like it'll be a part of her branding almost of like uh, the, fern the, the clean the, the mage. mage who smells of flowers the mage who smells of lavender flowers uh, right or right yeah like that. <laughs> exactly yeah. but okay so uh but yeah siri did pass All everyone after fern and not because fern changed her mind but because they actually did have something unique about all of them that touched her. Well, I would I would posit that it is still as a result of Fern changing her mind because she was closing her eyes to any of the promising things that they might have been able to showcase her before that happened. Mm. You know, the people come in and it's the, nope, nope, sure. you fail, you fail, you fail. The, the reason right. why I would say that that's, that's maybe, maybe it's more just more nuanced in that regard was that all of them did have something unique. And if anything, the one who probably was the closest to get failed was uh, Denkin. In that yeah. Denkin yeah. feels like someone that she said herself, I would have absolutely, you know, picked you and or like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, when you were young and had ambition you young, and all that stuff. But yeah. no, but you have an ember. You have just a tiny little, mm -hmm. a little spark of ambition still. There's something in you. There's a tiny little fire and, in okay, a lot of ways, sure. In a lot of ways, I could see it being something where Denkin coming in after Fern also helped kind of solidify a change if it was there. Mm -hmm. You know, because sure. she's, she's like still being She's still being antagonistic to, or, or not, um, she's not giving him a free pass, right? right? Like, she's actually asking him questions and all that stuff. But then she basically acknowledges how her assumptions weren't right. They mm -hmm. weren't they weren't complete, you know? And so, the, okay, yeah, she gives him a pass. And then by the end of it, it's the, you know, uh, oh, I thought you looked small and cute. All right, you pass. You know, right? Like, it's, it's completely disconnected from all of the things that she would have been looking at before. Well, no, no, no. This is why I wanted to go through them all, because I think they are actually okay. a couple things that were connected to it. Ubel comes in, no fear. No yeah. fear. That was a thing that she failed other people for, was that mm -hmm. they could see her ma mana and were like, oh, no. oh yeah. Immediately, well, Ubel comes in with like this hunger look on her face, and she's like, oh, yeah, you've got ambition. Just, you pass. Well, like, I don't even need to... That, that also makes a ton of sense, because uh, the main two people that have talked about the idea of magic being about visualization and mm -hmm. imagination um, have been Siri and Ubel. Yeah. So the fact that Ubel is the one who does that to the point where she breaks the traditional rules or, or you know, concepts of what is possible with magic, and then mm -hmm. she comes into Siri, Siri sees that, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the idea that, oh, I might have actually failed you, uh, um, Landa, but uh, you had the audacity to pretend like you had actually come here at all, mm -hmm. but the one that was your real self that whole time was actually just just another, another illusion, right? Because how could you ever tell? Right, right. Yeah. You, you'd never be able to tell. So the idea that she like finds him, you know, so mm -hmm. far away. Yep. And then is all like, yeah, guts pass. I think that again is another example of the you have ambition. You have you were you were okay. doing something unique but all the people that she spends the most time conversing with are the actual people where it's the like i actually need to figure out who you are well because my intuition isn't automatically seeing you know your potential here i don't know if this is um sure yeah it could absolutely be that uh, a fun coincidence mm -hmm. that i see here also yeah is that they're the ones that we have um we have actually spent the most time with and have had the most path opportunity for a, yes. a connection to them. Yes, and that's that's the meta thing of where you can tell who are the characters that we're actually going to have time spent yeah. on are the characters with the cool designs and the cool dialogue and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But the idea that with Verbel, she almost didn't pass him until he answered the, tell me what's your favorite spell, which feels very much like a, you can get this wrong if you don't say like like one of the two things that I would actually like here. Maybe, but like I, I could definitely see that being the case but i could also see it being the case where maybe because she's so aware of things and maybe as a result of this change of heart um she knows what to ask about 
Well, right? yes, you know, yes, like, that's her intuition being so good. Right? Yeah, it's the it's the oh, what's your favorite spell? Right? She hasn't asked anybody else that question, but she asked the question to the person who will, you know, you know, she has a sense that he'll give the answer that maybe she likes. Right, right. Um, but then I love this one here too because I don't even remember her name, but the yeah. idea that it's the like, what did you think of when you first you know saw me? Of all the responses people could give, mm -hmm. the I thought you were small and cute is the that's so far away from like awe and fear and okay. like how would I fight you and like you know your mana levels or anything like that. She just answered about as literally as possible of like, yeah, yeah I didn't see all your attributes. I didn't see all this. I just saw a cute little okay like elf child looking you know person <laughs> then and then city just has this like what like, like well yeah they, the the what's with the tests you know the the test takers yeah what's wrong yeah. with this year's test takers like mm -hmm. basically like that's such a such a weird answer so yes probably fern influenced this a little bit but i liked that it wasn't just a like oh i'm going to like yeah immediately pass all of you or immediately fail you there's that little bit of, of of questions involved there, so I I still think it's it 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 feels like it could be similar to the situation of Freeran talking about how she'll know whether she's gonna pass or fail you before you know even talking sure. to you. Sure, but yeah, then just also this is a fun thing to have an ancient being apologize to Senza, uh -huh. who really grew on me over the course of the second test of being like, oh, I'm just going to follow along and be mm -hmm. a part of the little thing here. Having the ancient mage who was kind of mocking them earlier mm -hmm. in the previous oh, yeah, episode, yeah. kind of being a bit condescending and also limited in their perspective. It's going, well, like, clearly you had, you know, no good reason for doing that. And it's like, oh, so what you're telling me also is that there might have been, you know, others outside of this 12 sure. that could have been ones that passed. but Or even ones within that 12 that just, you know, it, it got an interview with you first. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, fun stuff. Um, yes, a little acknowledgement from Denkin. Mm -hmm. um, and then just a quiet tea party moment here. And while there's not really a lot of, like characterization uh, no. moments here. I think one of the things that I liked was that we kind of suspected, you know, what this grave that he's going to was. Yeah. I don't remember if they gave the exact details. Uh, I feel like we might have gotten hints to it. But um, the idea that if he was born a little bit earlier or if he had met her like a little bit earlier or, or, or sorry, not a little bit earlier. If there was a little bit of a difference in the time there, um, right, I would have been able to potentially get a privilege of some kind or to get a spell you, that could save to her, get yeah. a spell that could save her. Yeah. The idea that like, ah, uh, so now in my powerlessness, despite having everything, mm -hmm. it's these little things, these inefficient ways I spend my magnificent resources just to, in some ways, you know, yeah. Denkin likes watching reaction channels. He well, likes going sure. around and seeing, like, hey, does this make you smile? Does this give you that little bit of mm -hmm. happiness? He's creating his own little field of flowers. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And that's that's fun, given that Imperial Mage, he was probably the one that, you know, was responsible for ordering other mages to go to war and probably sure. commanding them yeah. and stuff. So, I mean, yeah, you know, he talked about being able to like influence the movements of nations. So mm -hmm. I, I can imagine war is is one of those uncomfortable subsets of that. Right. Yeah. But the idea also that Freerin and her party still have magnificent influence over these people because then we get probably the best conversation this episode. Yes. Which was the verbal uh, mm -hmm. conversation here. Because he comes in with kind of the like, hey, I'm just going to drop my, you know, social link one you know, backstory yeah, yeah. all out the gate here. But it's because he's a little bit quicker than her to go and help this person who had all their oranges fall out of the basket. And Freerin was too concerned with, but I've got all these books Yeah, here, I've got all these know? books, which, you know, hey, is totally fair. 
But the right. I think the reason why I like this one a lot is yeah. um, one uh, we were shown it, not just told it. Yes. Um, which is always gonna like that almost always gonna work a bit better. Um, but then two, uh, it was both directly connected to like Freerun and the you know like the you know Himmel and all that stuff and her, like her whole journey, mm-hmm. and then also thematically connected with the kinds of lessons that he learned as a result of it and all that stuff. So yeah. it just that that felt like something where it's like ah yes okay here we go this is this is a this is a Freerun backstory right the idea of like he had like this infinite tower and like. Uh, a crazy immortal warrior and the, the seven sages of destruction and all these crazy battles and as a kid I was like oh yeah those those stories are the best those are wonderful also fun little detail we see the girl who's been following him mm-hmm. around clearly next to him on the tree yep. there yep. reading the stories with him which is a fun little thing that you know she failed the test whereas he, you know, succeeded. Right. So that'll be yeah. fun to see if they end up going together and she's mm-hmm. able to, you know, uh yeah, go north like with him or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Right. But, but they talk about all the 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 more um innocuous things that yeah, might not get you the yeah. the place in the history book or the right. acclaim or the whatever, but that's the thing that really um mm-hmm. uh well, maybe didn't affect these people the most because yes, their village can get just you know, turned upside down because a random demon shows up, you know, or right. some demons show up and it's like, okay, yeah, we don't really have anything to do against that. Mm-hmm. But as far as like the the stories that that will have an effect on them when in the middle of peace, right? right. You know, when yeah. when you can't necessarily imagine demons coming and destroying everything, right? Yeah, there's not going to be some great demon king out yeah. there that's doing this. So how do you make the world a better place by right. your existence if you were made to be a tool of war well you don't you, always have to be a tool you of war. you you find the little ways that you can yeah. and ha- can help mm-hmm. so and i love that they also in the in the flashback that freeran had to mm-hmm. them like you know waiting for the sheep to cross and all that stuff mm-hmm. um that we had uh uh, Eisen bringing up like, hey, we are on like a a timetable. A timetable. We kind of, you know, we kind of got to go defeat fast. the Demon King. Which, I mean, yes, uh, you know, theoretically, a lot of people are dying. You know, over the course of that ten year journey, as they make their way to that's the Demon very, King. That's a very, that's a very dark but good point. Like, the idea that's... that it took them ten years to get to Enda doesn't mm-hmm. necessarily mean that it couldn't have taken them eight. Right. Just that. That's how long it took. Yep. And over the course of that time, they left an impact on the world, mm-hmm. not just because of defeating the Demon King. And that's that's a that's a fun little bit that I, I it reminds me that this feels very inspired by the classic kind of TTRPG kind of well, right? Because it's party. Yeah, it's but just having it be so focused on for the the emotions and the themes of the story is really fun because mm-hmm. also it does end up if you have the passage of time be explored it does end up creating opportunities for these young people like verbell to then become somebody that's a i'm a fierce defender of the northern frontier i'm one of the most Mm -hmm. dangerous mages out there not because i'm a murdering psychopath who loves to kill but because this is the best way i can use my tools to protect all those people out there that i would be serving them even if there wasn't this great, you know, right. combat, you know, that needed and to be done out here. Well, this wasn't like explicitly stated by the episode. Yes. You never know, right? Like right. you never know whether some some little thing that you yes. do, um, you know, that one act of kindness will end up having this huge effect. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah. Really sweet stuff. Um, the comedy of the pettiness of Syria to be like, you're barred for a thousand years. Freeran is barred for a thousand years. And I liked your interpretation that it's a actually potentially a nice thing. Yeah. Because it's the, hey, you've got a lot of work to do. Mm-hmm. You're doing a great job training up mages. Fern is wonderful. Yep. Obviously, she has talent. That's that's yeah, its right. own thing. And she's put in all kinds of hard work and yep, right. all that. But you know what? Yeah, I don't want to distract you. Right. It, it feels like the um, you're an introvert. You like to just read books, okay? You're barred from 
g attending parties that you don't want to go to anyways. Yes. You know, right? Uh, to dealing with any of this shit. Yeah. We just cut you off from that for a thousand years, which is hilarious. Happy because birthday, the, you know, right? Right, because it, it's funny, because what's going to happen <laughs> is 800 years from now, there's going to be this special entry of like, like... <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently this person is still banned for another 200 years? What? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. It, well, which just, is also just, fun because... I just love that idea. This organization has been around for 50 years. Right, so right. Can, or, or, sorry, this current way of doing things and whatnot. But when you think about the idea that this actual... The humanity's approach to magic and all that stuff was started by Flam a thousand years ago, to say you're banned for a thousand years, it's also kind of a way of saying... I'm gonna make sure this place sticks around for another thousand. Sure. You know? Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Because otherwise, there'd be nothing to ban you from. Right. The, my I'm, pettiness would be wasted. Yeah, exactly. I'm here to foster humanity for at least another thousand years. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm not mm -hmm. giving up on humans. And that might be why she passed now, all of them as well. That's all me reading into Extrapolating the one, a lot one out joke of this. thing. But that's that's the fun of art, right? That's to do the fun that of kind it. of yeah. stuff. Yeah, exactly. But just also the idea that Freeman's just got her little, like, yep, well, it's not like I wanted to be here. Or oh, anything. no, I'm so sad, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Awkward, I want to duel you because I would have rather I go down in infamy. I'm like, I get what they're going for here. He also didn't learn the lesson of how to live in a world of peace. And well, it's probably because he was taught by Syria. Like, oh, sure. This is the, oh, yeah. This is the influence of Yeah, you Syria. have an old, stubborn, jaded person that's been that's cycled on that for millennia. They're that's, going to propagate it. Like, like right. uh, yes, absolutely. But even then, the idea that Syria is so bad at being a master, specifically, that while she does care about all of her students, she never actually communicated that properly. Right. So Not in the, the 50 years or whatever that, you know. That, like, specifically this guy. This guy's been her student. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. when he was the one that created, it seems like they're saying that he's the one that created those, like, awesome golems that saved them mm -hmm. in the... That sense used, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, holy yep. shit, he's, he's pretty fucking goaded. And yet she also talked a bunch of shit about him. Right. Yeah, just exactly. Just a little bit ago. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she yeah. truly is a child. It's, I liked that kind of emphasis in that Freerin is now seeing the ways in which she's surpassed Syria in things that she didn't have mm -hmm. not like, you know, 20 years ago. Like, like basically since meeting Fern and going on this little, you know, journey. Like. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we uh, said goodbyes. And mm -hmm. we say quick goodbyes because it would right. be It'd be awkward, awkward if you met up again and it's like, oh, we already we had this tearful goodbye. Now, yeah. that can make for a tearful reunion, which is great. But, yes, that's but true. I, I love the sentiment behind it. Yeah. I also love the sentiment because one of the things that was probably my, probably my frustration, and I think probably even a point of the arc as well, is the idea that this magical association arc in general was a distraction from the let's go and see, you know, Himmel again at Enda. Let's go on the journey. Yeah. And basically what at the end of it they're saying is that, hey, even the distractions, even the inefficient, annoying little things that are just a, a, a little side jaunt there can end up giving us, you know, some perspective, can end up changing people's lives. The idea sure. that... If they didn't come here, if they tried to just, you know, sneak around, basically, yeah. and do things the illegal way, they wouldn't have given Denkin that extra bit of, of something there. They wouldn't have had sure. uh, Verbell basically get to meet his hero's hero, you know. Mm -hmm. um, those little things wouldn't have happened. And now, um, yeah, we'll get to have fun little happy reunions at some point in the future for the ones that do end up bumping into them again in the north because that's clearly what this arc was also oh, setting up as well a hundred percent and the who fact are we going to occupy the north with well, that can fight demons basically and the fact that among the uh people that were just unlucky to be in the beginning part of the thing and get auto failed uh, all happen to kind of like be nothing characters well be other nothing than the, characters other than a good friend of verbal <laughs> she, she has potential well i mean i mean 
well, both of Verbal's friends ended up getting failed, but that's fine because Verbal was after, so he passed, so they can still go with yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are ways I, I wish this would have been done differently, but um, now we're here at the end, um, and yeah, let's mm -hmm. say let's say goodbye because but a quick goodbye, a quick goodbye because you know Fern, I have free run, sorry, um, you are gonna see Himmel again, and that's wild. That's wild to me. The idea that we're still setting up the, okay, at the end, not necessarily the end of this series, but like at the end of everything here, we're going to get to heaven, Tengoku, you know, we're actually going to see them again. And maybe then it'll be a tearful hello again or something. Sure. Yeah. 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 But that's the end of Freerun. It is indeed. As a uh, uh, first season. Uh, we had a poll that was done we did. Um, a long time ago. I know it was 28 ago. weeks ago, y'all. Yeah. But we had prepped a, another another show uh, to be the, in second place mm -hmm. after uh, Free Run is done. And that's Spy Family. We're going to go back to continue and yep. catch up with Spy Family. There's Pull some been, fun vibes. Let's go. There's been, I think, a full two-core. They did like a split two-core uh, season say, thing there. See, that's the benefit of, you know, 27 weeks of waiting is because then you don't have to worry about the split core. Yeah, you just get it all yeah. at once. So mm -hmm. that's going to be that. And uh, I'm excited to get into that. So if yeah. you want to see the first episode's reaction to that right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.